average dude has something to say about... No, 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 we're going right into this episode. America, you know exactly what this episode is about. I don't have to tell you what episode 41 is over when it comes to someone being murdered in the New York subway situation. Last year, uh, a little over a year ago, it was October of 2011, we saw here in America the situation in China where that two-year-old girl, Wang Yu, uh, they nicknamed her Yu Yu, oh, that poor thing. She was run over, a two-year-old run over multiple times, and nobody did shit except for way later when, uh, I guess, a sanitation worker or someone who cleaned the streets came over and got her off the street. Nothing but criticism from the USA on that one. And you know what? The USA didn't look good then. And you want to know why? The world of humanity didn't look good. Because the media showed that video of that that poor two-year-old being hit. And it's happening again with the subway situation. We have turned death situations into voyeur. We've been turning them into snuff films. And again, and this is in America. America did nothing but judge China. I, I remember all that talk. Oh, the Chinese, yeah, yeah, yeah. America, USA citizens, you shitheads. And you know damn well what I'm talking about when I'm yelling at you over this one. You moron, you pieces of crap. America looks horrible in this. And we're going to go over this one in full detail. 30-year-old Naeem Davis, murderer son of a bitch, has been caught. Uh, quote, investigators recovered security video showing a man fitting the description of the assailant working with street vendors near Rockefeller Center, New York Police Department spokesman Paul Brown said. Okay, this helped police identify Naeem as well as a statement from a woman working in a street vending booth. Okay, this one threw me off at first because this... Uh, little bit about the security video. This was outside the subway. This was closer to where he worked and they were able to fit. Because, yeah, there's another situation with a video. Someone with a cell phone camera, which kind of reminds me of the Lisa Ackerman situation in Bushy Park, London. Remember that? The man who was being attacked by an animal and he, he had to, he's like, I need some help here, yelling at the bystanders, and Lisa Ackerman, the bitch, took a cell phone, uh, of course, video of it, and then admitted that she called the police after he was safely up the tree. That's what we're doing anymore. We gotta capture that video, damn it. We gotta get those pictures, gotta get everything for our own selfish gain. And this happens to deal with someone's death. Death. Police say Davis implicated himself in the death of Ki Suk Han, 58. Han was hit by a southbound Q train at the 49th Street Station, subway station, Monday after getting into an altercation with a man on the subway platform. That would be Naeem. Bastard. Needs to really pay the price for this one. And New York judicial system, you had better not drop the ball with this one. Unfrickin' believable. I admit that I am out of it with this one. This is not the kind of story I want to do, uh, murders, but I will do them when it comes to all the horse crap, vile junk that happens on behalf of people for their own selfish crap afterwards. That's why I'm doing this story, because USA decided to bankroll from this situation. Everyone looked bad, and I mean everybody. We have a picture that made it on the headlines. I'll deal with that one. Yeah, a photographer took the, the shot. Ooh, got to get that money money while someone's gonna about to die. And then we have someone with a cell phone kit video. And, oh! <clears throat> but what you will see when it comes to that video, you will say, and I'm not showing it, the links will be down. I'm not going to have a part in, in this crap as far as showing on what I have going on here. Talking about it's one thing, I'm not, I'm not going there. This is someone's death, 
I'm not doing that. But, oh man, you will see this poor guy, he's trying to calm down this out of control freak who's yelling about, uh, you see, you see the people that they're back, you see the bystanders and they're kind of huddling together. You see them, and you can tell that this is someone's cell phone camera. So this person with the cell phone camera, I wish I knew your name, because I would expose you like I did Lisa Ackermom. You should have been calling the police immediately. This is what human beings do. They capture photos and video and throw them onto the internet for the world to see, ha, 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 while someone dies. That's what we are anymore. We're crap. I, and when you see the picture of the, after he was pushed, he's, his arms are over the, he's trying desperately to get up and he's looking at the train that's about, that's still a ways off, that's slowing down. It was slowing down. And nobody was anywhere near him. When you see the full, when, when it's zoomed out, like they zoomed in the picture that this uh, individual took, the photographer. They zoomed in to get it as close as possible. But when you see the actual, that when it's all the far back, people are, they're, no, they're, they're gone. They're like huddled, wait, they're even farther back. So when this guy pushed this poor individual onto the tracks to die, everyone down there in New York cowered and did nothing. Humanity is not noble. No, no, we really aren't. We're not. The New York Post is the... And this, this newspaper has a god-awful... This isn't the first time that they've done shit like this. It won't be the last. They'll get away with it because they're, they're shit. They're dreck. The, 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 the picture of this guy who got killed made it on the front page of the New York Post... With the headline, you'll love the headline. This quote, this man is about to die. You disgust me, New York Post. Quote, the Post de declined, declined to share the photo when contacted by the Associated Press. Hey, wow, greed. His death moment is ours. That's the stance that you're taking, New York Post. You vile craps. That's our death moment caught on film. That's ours. We're not letting the Associated Press use it or anybody else. It's ours. Mine, mine, mine. Ours, ours, ours. Someone's death. And the Associated Press wants the photo too? What the hell is wrong with us? Oh. Quote. His widow tells the New York Post she tried to call him after their fight, but he never picked up. Yeah, his widow is devastated. They had Her and her husband had a fight before this. And then he gets killed, and she has to give a statement to the very paper that put his death moment on the front page. That is beyond vile.